Friday, June 7th, 2013. I came to the gym. There was a bunch of different muscle groups I was going to hit. You see me hitting chest here. This is a dumbbell pullover. It's a move you don't see done too often. Um, and this followed up an incline bench press. And if you watched my last video, incline bench press on the Smith machine. If you watched my last video, I was trying to figure out a way to do a bench press with my long arms without torquing my shoulders that much. And it worked a little bit. Anyway, the dumbbell pullover followed up by a modified yoga pose, the child pose. Yeah, a lot of times at the gym, I like to follow up certain exercises with yoga poses, certain ones that you can actually do in the middle of the gym, as long as you don't get in anyone's way. I uh, have some, some concentration curls here, hitting biceps, seated concentration curls, which, I don't know, pretty much everything I do in this video is stuff I haven't recorded myself doing in any of the other workouts. I don't think at least. Anyway, alternating arms here. Focusing this weight kind of, it felt, I don't know, felt kind of light to me. But I stuck with it anyway. You'll see here in a second I switch over to another bicep exercise that I haven't done in a video before. And you'll notice I have the same problem I have when I do the uh, tricep rope pushdowns. Same pulley machine you've seen me use before. Might be a different pulley machine. But anyway, I still can't quite get myself all in frame, but you see me back there in the mirror. This is good. This works the forearms and it works the biceps. And actually, if you have a wider grip on this, your pinkies will be slightly higher than your thumbs. And that, when you're doing any type of curling exercise, would mean more definition in the bicep. Single arm pulleys here. You see I've switched the grip. And this is just to make sure that neither arm is cheating or doing more work than the other one. This is probably, as usual with this machine, set number five or six I'm recording just because I didn't like the other angles and until I'm done with the set I have no idea what the angle looked like so finishing up these curls on the pulley machine these are ugly these are intentionally ugly this is what a lot of people do at the gym every time they do curls and this is a cheat set so I'm doing this maybe because I'll get something out of it I throw these in every once in a while I actually have pretty good form on my standing curls so this is just to show you what you might want to throw in every now and then try not to hurt your shoulders my shoulders aren't actually pinned back as well as they should be so I'm getting a lot more out of shoulders and not as much out of biceps as I could get I just dropped the weight there a little bit by the way so here you see pretty nice form on curls. This is generally what I do when I'm doing standing curls. Good form, controlling the movement, feeling it on the way up and on the way down. Which is the complete opposite of what I was just doing there with those cheat sets. And here are the cheat sets. This is what they look like from the front, like crap. A lot of guys, this is every time they go to the gym. So I wrapped up that workout. Here's the creatine that I take after and not before I work out. Mixing it with, I don't know, no idea what that blue liquid is. Anyway, that was the set. That was my workout today. I'm at the smaller gym now by my house. I've walked from the other gym that I was at, which was a mile away, and kind of cut the workout short today. And I'm going to explain why and also kind of review a couple of supplements here. I slept maybe three or four hours last night and knew I had to get up. Look how relaxed I am. I've got sandals on. I knew I had to get up early this morning at about 4.30 if I wanted to get a gym workout in. 
and I got up and I was groggy and there's all these free little um, supplements that I have and I figured I would try one and I thought why don't I try a pre-workout supplement that I've never tried before see how it works out and let me show you the product that I tried Here it is, White Flood by Controlled Labs. There we go. Um, basically, you know what this is. Um, Pre-workout, nitric oxide, it gives you a pump. A lot of guys like to have that pump in the gym. It makes them feel like they had a better workout. I actually think it contributes to guys not getting the best workout sometimes because guys look in the mirror and they say, oh, I've got a great pump, time to go home when it's pretty much just nitric oxide. I have no idea. I'm not even looking on the back of this. I looked at it earlier. Uh, maybe I will do like a full review of this some other time. Um, I can tell you though, this stuff, I also took it with this, Astrovar, which is a supplement, if you guys can read the package there. Um, this is a supplement that you take pre-workout and you stack it with other things. Um, glucosamine is one of them. A lot of people take glucosamine and chondroitin because they have, you know, issues with their shoulders or is issues with their knees or other joints. Um, L-arginine, uh, it helps restore muscle glycogen. So that's going to help you start recovering after your workout. Um, Okay, so anyway, I really can't review this product. It's the second time I've taken it. I, you know, take it if you want to. I don't know. Look up reviews online. I can't really tell any difference. If it works, awesome. If not, that kind of sucks because I paid for it. Anyway, White Flood. This stuff made me kind of sick. I felt sick at the gym, and because of that, I went home, and it dramatically cut my workout maybe more than uh, even in half so I don't know maybe I, it was just a combination of not sleeping or who knows but anyway this stuff probably won't be taking it again and maybe it's great maybe there's people watching this and they love this product but let me tell you about another product that I've taken before and this was a product I don't know which day I took this on. It would have been May 25th or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'll figure it out and I will post that uh, that information here somewhere on the screen so you guys can go back and watch that workout and see how I look then. Probably look pumped up because it's another pre-workout that has nitric or nitrous oxide in it. Um, but this stuff is pretty awesome. And this is also stuff that I stacked again with Astrovar. And I worked out on this stuff probably for two and a half hours and had a great workout for those who are into the pump, like I said. You get a great pump. Um, I don't know if it made me more focused. It's kind of hard to gauge that. I know there is a product that made me a lot more focused that I've stopped taking because potentially dangerous and maybe it's going to come off the market in the United States if they haven't already changed the formula and I think in a lot of countries it's already banned and I will tell you about that product some other time maybe I'll do a full product review anyway let me show you the awesome stuff that I've taken before pre-workout there it is ripped freak let me see who this is by pharma freak this product is awesome. I'm not going to tell you to try this product because you might die. But if you don't die, you will have an awesome workout with this product. Potentially, because I have. And I stacked it with the Astrovar. I don't know if this Astrovar does anything like I said. Maybe it, maybe it does something. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Anyway, um, so yes. And I also, as you saw, took creatine at the end of my workout. 
I'm too lazy to flip these things over and see if they have creatine in them, but a lot of pre-workout things do, and they tell you creatine is great to take pre-workout. And creatine is absolutely awesome to take pre-workout if over your lifespan you want to spend twice as much money on creatine and get no more results for it. Creatine is the kind of thing, if you've been asleep eight hours, sure, take it when you wake up. Take it after your workout. You know, you, you can, uh, a lot of guys have like pixie sticks and they'll mix the pixie stick powder, um, dextrose, um, they'll mix that with creatine, they'll spike their insulin just a little bit and, uh, you know, the carbs and the creatine, everything works together and it's a great thing to take even before your, uh, your post-workout protein. But taking it before, kind of pointless. Even though it'll tell you on all these pre-workout supplements, take it. Um, okay, caffeine is another thing that is in White Flood and probably in Rip Freak. I don't know. But caffeine is something that obviously is going to give you energy. I haven't had a soda in about 10 years. I might drink two cups of coffee a year, if that. I'm not a big chocolate guy. There's not a lot of caffeine in my diet, so when I have it, it works very well for me. And I don't know, maybe I'll post a video and I'll show you guys all the supplements I've tried or all the supplements I'm taking now or will try in the future and I will review them. In the meantime, uh, I will catch you guys later. Pete, please uh, su subscribe, like I always say. Um, try to get more subscribers. And you guys take it easy. All right. Later.